Six o'clock here in New York City, and we start with some breaking news. There are reports an airplane, a jetliner, a Libyan flight on its way to Tripoli was possibly hijacked, at least that's what it sounds like, mm -hmm. has been diverted to Malta. It has landed there safely. Security and emergency crews are currently standing by. Here's what we know. It's an Airbus, an A320 with 118 people on board that plane. Maltese media is reporting that two hijackers on flight on the flight threatened to blow up the plane. All right, their demands not known yet. We're keeping a close eye on this, but we know it's the Wild West in Libya, and we'll keep you posted on as we get more information. This is how I thought we were going to alert the show with this Fox News right. alert. Right. We also have another Fox News alert breaking right now. The suspected terrorists wanted in the Berlin Christmas market market massacre just shot and killed in Italy. This comes amid a brand new ISIS holiday kill list. The targets, churches all across the country here in the United States of America. Now, Colin McShane, you saw him 90 seconds ago, is here with the breaking details. He's been following this throughout the morning along with Heather. Uh, on both these stories. Connell, yeah, good morning, update guys. us. Boy, crazy morning. The worldwide manhunt for this Tunisian terrorist accused of mowing down innocent people is over. That has been confirmed. Anis Amri overnight shot and killed. He got in a shootout with the police in the Milan area in Italy. It's the guy who was wanted for the bloodbath in Berlin. Twelve people left dead as a result of that, and he now was killed. This really started as a routine traffic stop, we're told, at a train station. The police came up to Amri. Um, they asked him for his ID, and when they did that, when they asked him for ID, he pulled out a gun from a backpack, and he opened fire, shooting at the officers. So police fired back. One officer was hit, but is expected to be okay. Amri um, had lived in Italy before he had moved to Germany, where he carried out the attack in Berlin. Now, we have chilling new video of that Christmas market massacre into us as well. You see the truck uh, barreling through the entrance of the Christmas uh, market in Berlin, just terrified shoppers seen in the video running for their lives. And it comes amid this new threat that we talked about, ISIS actually pledging to attack right here on American soil. They released this kill list, ISIS did, asking for lone wolves and sleeper cells to turn U.S. churches into a bloody horror movie. The names and the addresses of thousands of churches in the United States, in Canada as well, France and the Netherlands, all on this list. Churches right around Christmas. Now the newest terror fear hitting a, a fever pitch here at home as well. You can expect beefed up security and in major cities, this one, New York is included, Boston, Chicago, and others as well. So that's what's happening and it has been a, uh, a very, very busy morning, guys. And I guess at the top of the list you have what a man who'd been the most wanted man in the world after the um, the attack in Berlin. He's dead this morning. All right, yes, thanks, Connell. And here's, here's the big question. How do you get out of Germany? Is it really that easy? And get 13 hours over to Italy. Was it a train? And if so, do you need ID to get a train? You need that in Amtrak to well, show an ID to get a train. And if so, what ID did he have? And then, of course, you have the, the wild shootout in Italy. Why was he going back to Italy? What connections did he have in Italy?